dirty. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. I wanna... Good afternoon, tubers and peeps. Frosty Knives here again. And today, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we, I know we've been going through the uh, Transformers collection, but today I want to show you some of the stuff that I have for Transformers and other media. So we're going to go through um, some of my DVD collection. It'll be a short jaunt uh, through it. The first thing I want to show you, I have right here. It's a little glary, but this is the original Transformers Season 1, put out by Rhino Home Video. We open that up there. It's packed full of Transformery goodness. And here we go. Discs 1 and 2. Discs 3 and 4. This is the complete first season all 16 episodes and it comes with some extra swanky goodness comes with a uh, series guide and it comes with two collectible film cells one of rumble which is really cool you could just stick those up on your wall if you're so inclined and one of uh, Starscream and Skywarp collecting uh, Energon goodies. So this was put out a while ago by uh, Rhino Home Video. Which I believe owned the rights to the original, uh, the original uh, episodes put out on VHS. It's got some little bit of DVD extras, not a, not a whole lot. Uh, animation outtakes, uh, Japanese show openings. Nothing as cool as maybe showing some of the original commercials, but there it is. First season. Four seasons of Transformers total. And we have Transformers Season 2 Part 1. They split Season 2 in half. Due to the length of how many episodes uh, it had, Part 1 collected the first 24 episodes, and I like how the back says, in chronological order, as if you'd want to watch them, you know, just slap some slap some episodes there willy-nilly and see what happens. But there they are. You've got uh, disc 1 and 2 here. You've got disc 3 and 4 also put out by Rhino Home Video. This is 750 minutes of Transformery goodness. This one also came with a few little extras here. Came also with an episode guide with, you know, little pictures and descriptions of the episodes. This one also came with two collectible film cells, one of Ravage. And one of Megatron. Careful, don't drop the energon goodie. It could explode. Came with an advertisement for uh, Heroes of Cybertron collection. These were just uh, tiny statues that you could collect. Blind box style. And here was a uh, commemorative edition. Reissues of uh, original Transformers that they put out in the spring of 2003. Which I have a few of, and we'll go over in another video at some time. It also came in with a uh, collectible card of Optimus Prime. So that's kind of neat right there. Uh, I do not have Season 2, Part 2. When I discovered that this stuff uh, found its way onto Netflix, I stopped buying them. Uh, they got kind of pricey for a while. 20th anniversary special edition of possibly the greatest animo animated movie ever conceived and made. Transformers the movie. If you haven't seen it, why are you watching this video? Go watch that. 
This is a hell of a lot better. Shame on you for not having seen this. You should go watch it. Two disc special edition. One disc has the uh, Matrix of Leadership on it. One disc has Unicron. Came with a nice little insert. Which actually has a... Uh, Comic, comic strip opening of the movie. First, the first scene. So, uh, this was a fantastic movie. I saw this when it came out in the theaters. Um, and this, this disc is loaded with extras. So, for the $20 that I spent on it, you get the theatrical widescreen version, the full screen version, you get commentary. You get trivia games. You get photo galleries, deleted footage, animated storyboards. You get U.S. and Japanese toy commercials. Those are priceless. Those were some really awesome things. You get Easter eggs, interviews with the cast, the original the uh, theatrical trailers and TV spots. And as a bonus, you get, for the first time ever, on DVD or any format, the episode, Scramble City. For those of you that do not know what Scramble City is, it was an episode released between the movie and season three, and it was the introduction of Metroplex. We saw Metroplex in the movie. He was not called Metroplex. He was called Autobot City. But the big battle that they had where Prime and Megatron duked it out, that was... Metroplex and the transformation that they did in the movie was from the city to his battle cruiser mode. But Scramble City is sort of like the lost episode of Transformers. Um, the introduction of official introduction of Metroplex, and here it is. You finally get to see it remastered with commentary, and you get to see the official birth of Metroplex, one of my all time favorite action figures. And it also came with sort of like a little hollow foil. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I didn't know I could do that, but there's the glare. Look, it looks like the Matrix is lighting our darkest hour. There it is, right there. So I suggest you go pick it up. It's a good film. Even if you're not a Transformers fan, it's a great animated film. Great cast. I mean, we're talking Leonard Nimoy, Judd Nelson, Orson Welles. This was Orson Welles. Last movie. The man died before he finished voicing, before he finished recording his lines. Okay, this was Orson Welles's. You're a fan of Orson Welles? We'll get the movie. He voiced Unicron. Leonard Nimoy had to finish his lines because he didn't make it through. So it's a great cast, great film, great story, great animation. Go see it. And here is Transformers season three and four. Four? Well, there was never a season four. What's, what are you talking about, Frosty? Season four. Season four consisted of three episodes. So, uh, here we are. We've got season three. And this is a four-disc set. This is a disc one and two. This is a disc three and four. Um, and The Return of Optimus Prime Part 1 and 2 is kind of officially how we ended the show in America. But if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see three extra ones. The Rebirth, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. That was Season 4. That was the introduction of the Headmasters. Um, I don't remember seeing it on TV. I remember Transformers ending with the two-parter. The Return of Optimus Prime, Part 1 and 2. And that's how I remember the show ending. Season 4 in America, we'll get to Japan and overseas, had a part, uh, Season 4, Rebirth, Part 1, 2, and 3. And, you know, this comes with a lot of extra bonus goodies. Uh, a look at the fans, BotCon. There's a featurette on BotCon and the fans. There's rare PSAs. There's... Archived Hasbro toy commercials, concept art, some really cool stuff. 
So, if you were to watch all of these videos that we get, this was also, I believe, put out by, this was put out by Shout. This was not put out by Rhino. So, if you were to watch it all, and you were to watch season one, two, movie, and three and four, then you would have, you would have known how uh, we got to see the Transformers in America. However, the Transformers never really went off the air in Japan. The Transformers kept on going. And here we are. I picked this up at Best Buy. This is the Japanese collection. The Headmasters. This was season four in Japan. The Japanese basically ignored everything that happened in the Rebirth Part 1, 2, and 3. And just kept on going. And here it is. This is the continuation of the Transformers. First time ever that we got to see it. Unless you were lucky enough to get some bootlegged copies. That people made bootlegged copies with some really bad English dubs. And watched it. But 34 episodes on four DVDs with English subtitles. First time on DVD. The continuation of of the show in in Japan. And here they are. You open it up and there's your discs right there. Boom, boom, and boom. I haven't watched this yet, but um, it's it's got all of the good stuff. Galvatron introduces the Headmasters, introduces the Target Masters, introduces one of my favorite Featured on the cover right there. Six Shot. The uh, Decepticon Six Changer. They made two. They made an a, a Autobot one. Quick Switch. And they made a Decepticon one. Six Shot. And they were... Um, they were Six Changers. So, I would highly recommend watching this. I would highly recommend watching this in Japanese with the English subtitles. Because tell, take it from me when I tell you... Anytime people translate this stuff and they put English dubs on it, it is horrendous. It is awful. I will give you an example. I watched a dub of uh, some of the original Japanese Transformers, and it was dubbed by a British production team. And for some odd reason, they decided that they didn't want to call Blaster Blaster anymore, so for the entire couple of episodes that I watched it, they kept calling him Billy. Hello, Billy. Where's your cassettes, Billy? So, the English dubs of, of a lot of this stuff is, is horrendous. So, watch it in Japanese with the English subtitles. And you know what? When you watch this stuff in Japanese, it just sounds badass. It's every, Anything dubbed in Japanese sounds badass. They could be talking about their laundry or their grocery lists. And it just sounds badass. So I would recommend watching this. Turn the English subtitles on. Listen to it in the original Japanese. The music is way cooler. The theme music is way cooler. And it's just a better experience. So Transformers in Japan never really went off the air. They, they have kept on going since the early 80s. They're still putting them out. All the way up through the 80s, through the 90s, the 2000s. They never really stopped. But they stopped for us. And we didn't get... Another Transformers television show, once Generation 1 went off the air, until 1996, when Beast Wars rolled around. And here is the first season of Beast Wars. All 20-some-odd episodes of the new show. And this show got a lot of heat. Uh, people either liked it, or they hated it. It was different. It was completely different from what we were used to. You know, these were no longer Autobots and Decepticons. These were Maximals and Predacons. They were no longer vehicles. They were animals. So, it was not no longer hand-drawn animated. It was CG animated. So, a lot of people, I think in the beginning, didn't like it. And it took a while for people to kind of come around and sort of watch this and accept it for what it is. Um, 
including myself. I was a little skeptical at the time. I was in college when this came out. Here it is, Beast Wars Season 2, which only had 13 episodes. And there's not a real, there's not, there's, there's no special features on these DVDs. It's just the episodes. And these were put out by Rhino as well. Rhino Home Video. So there's Season uh, 2 of the uh, uh, Beast Wars. 13 episodes there. Season 3 of the Beast Wars. 13 episodes there. Um, and, you know, if, if you're one of those people that watched the show and either didn't like it, didn't finish it, never really watched it through its whole run, I would say watch it. Give it a chance. You could blow through this in a day. There's only... 26 episodes for season two and three. So you're talking maybe a total of 50, 60 episodes. They're 22 minute episodes without the commercials. They were only half hour shows and you could blow through it in an afternoon and an evening or take it a weekend and watch it if you wanted to do it slowly. And I would say, watch it, give it a shot. If you didn't finish it, go back and finish it. If you didn't like it, go back and rewatch it and see if you don't like it. It actually ties in very nicely with generation one. There are a lot of cameos, a lot of homages to Generation 1, a lot of things that you didn't think you would see, and it's not that completely different. It actually ties in very, very well, um, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised uh, when you get done with it and watch the entire series in relation to Generation 1. It's not as bad as a lot of people thought. It was not Beast Machines. Beast Machines was not very good. It was the series that came after Beast Wars. I watched a couple of episodes. You know what? If you don't want to watch it, if you skip it, you're not missing a whole lot. Um, so anyway, go back and watch Beast Wars if you haven't. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit. I'm going to show you two other things, three other things. Uh, first two are related. This doesn't have anything to do with Transformers, but it's cool and it's still robots. And it's Voltron. How many people remember Voltron? This was the other show that I watched. This was the five guys who who uh, piloted the um, the lions. And there was two sets of Voltrons. There was the lion Voltron, and there was the vehicle Voltron. They both had their own TV show. And this is collection one of the uh, the lion Voltron. Voltron, defender of the universe, came in a nice tin. And it was broken up. There was five of them put out, one for each lion. Blue lion, red lion, yellow lion, green lion, and black lion. So this was the first 18 episodes it might have been. I'm not sure how many were on here. This was the first 15 episodes. So the first 15 episodes are on, are on, blue lion, on the blue lion disc. And you can open it up, and you can you can watch you watch these your discs right here. I've never I've never actually watched these, and I didn't collect any of the other tins. I know I'm slacking. I really should have collected all of them, because I was a big Voltron fan, just like uh, a Transformers fan, and it was it was a pretty decent a show. I really liked it. So there's my tin, you know Voltron. Good packaging, good tin. But what I was really excited to pick up, and I picked this up at Best Buy one day, was this. And this is Beast King Go Lion. Look familiar? It ought to. It's Voltron. This was the show, Beast King Go Lion. This was the show that we took and we cut up and we remastered. And we added new dialogue, and we called it Voltron. But this is the original Japanese animated show of what is known in the States as Vol Voltron. Beast King Go Lion. And, you know, it changed significantly. Uh, it, it, it is almost a completely different, here's the discs, a completely different series. This is the first 18 episodes. I should get the rest of them. Um, but this is 
the first 18 episodes of the show. And it is, we made significant changes to the, uh, to this, to package it for something in the States. You look on the back, it's got a warning label. When's the last time you saw a cartoon have a warning label? 13 and older for this show. You know why? Because the Japanese take their animated robot shows very, very seriously. This is violent. People die in this in this film. Char- main characters die in this film, and they show it. And the whole film starts out with the five lion pilots coming back to Earth, and the entire population of Earth has been destroyed by a nuclear war. That wasn't in our version. They cut that out. So what we got was we sort of got a, a, a truncated version, a repackaged version. They cut out the violence. They cut out the deaths. They rewrote the dialogue. As a matter of fact, the people who produced the people who produced Voltron, uh, none of them spoke a lick of Japanese. So none of them understood a lick of what was going on. So they basically guessed at the dialogue and they rewrote it according to what they think the characters were saying. And so when I say that, you know, this is a completely different experience than the Voltron that we saw, believe it. Um, It's almost a completely different story. And it's worth your time and effort to pick it up and to check it out. This is collection one. I got it on Best Buy. You can probably find it on Best Buy or Amazon. I don't recall it being much more than $20. Um, But it's it's a little more adult oriented. It's a little more brutal. People actually die. Um, and, and the story is significantly different than what we have, than what we were seeing. We, uh, we tend to water down our shows. Uh, we tend to make them a little more PC, a little more watered down. And the last thing I want to show you is this. I found this. I remember I, I kind of forgot that I had this. This is the pilot episode of Thundercats. Thundercats Exodus, 75 minute runtime. And this was packaged by Telepictures Corporation back in 1985. I bought this on eBay uh, many, many moons ago. I paid a song for it. It must. I don't. I don't think I spent. I think I spent less than five dollars on this. So, when people are going, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why, Frosty? Why are you showing us a video? You know, it looks like a video of the of the Thundercats. Why are you showing the a video of the full-length animated film of the Thundercats, the pilot episode. You know why I'm showing it to you? Because it's not a video. You're going to love this. It's not a video at all. It's Betamax. Ha! <laughs> Family Home Entertainment. FHE put this out. This is the pilot episode of Thundercats on Betamax. And everybody right now who's watching this video, who is under 25 years old, is scratching their heads going, what the hell is a Betamax? Yeah, go look it up. It came out at the same time as uh, the VHS. This was the, uh, the, the other format, the other guy, the guy that lost the format wars. So here it is. Beta, you can't even see that, can you? It says beta on the inside. Betamax, you can tell because they're smaller. VHSs were longer. These are these are tinier. So I have this on Betamax. Betamax is to uh, high def DVD as VHS is to Blu-ray. You know, there's a format wars every ten years or so, and one wins and one loses. Betamax lost, but they still made a bunch of them. And what's exciting about this is that I recently have just come into possession of a Betamax player. Yeah, a Betamax player. So now, after all of these years, I've ca- I bought this about 10 years ago. After all these years, I can finally watch Thundercats on Betamax. That's so exciting. On my own Betamax. I think I might go do that. It, it's... You know, it's 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 quite interesting. So that's all I have for you today. A little jaunt through uh, the media that is Transformers, a little bit of Voltron, and a little bit of Thundercats. So uh, 
we'll be back again uh continuing the uh the videos of my collection but uh until then if you like the videos so far subscribe hit the like button leave some comments if there's something i'm doing right if there's something i'm doing wrong if you have suggestions if you want to subscribe to it leave comments and uh, let me know what you think is good what you think is bad what you think i could improve on what you think i could do less of so until next time have a nice day i came to I play came to play there's a price to pay time for you to get down on your knees i, I came to play Second time.